everyone and welcome back to Ronnie the Reader. Today we are going to be talking about some of uh, the books that I am excited for for the second half of the year. So all of these books are coming out in August, September, October, and November. So there are 11 books on the list that I have here. So we're going to go through each one. Just going to go through uh, the expected publication date for the book and then a little bit of the plot summary, just like a little kind of line of it um, and kind of why I'm excited. So we'll go ahead and jump right into the first one. So the first book on the list is Till Death Do Us Part by Lori Elizabeth Flynn. This book is coming out on August 13th is the expected publication date. And essentially this one is following a woman who thought her husband had died about 10 years ago and he kind of unexpectedly returns and pops back up in her life, I'm assuming. Um, I think the book book is set in Napa Valley in California. So I'm really intrigued by this one. It's kind of a, I guess it's like a classic plot. I don't know, is this kind of trope common? I actually don't really necessarily know, but I am excited. I did read Lori Elizabeth Flynn's um, other novel. I don't know how many she's had, but I've read um, All of the Girls Are So Nice Here, I think was the name of that particular one. So I'm intrigued by this one, intrigued to check it out. I don't think it's going to be super heavy in the mystery thriller aspects, more so probably like the character dynamics, because that's what I remember from her previous novel. Um, but still, I, it, I'm intrigued, so I'm excited to uh, check this one out. The second book on the list is Here One Moment by Leanne Moriarty, and this one is coming out on September 10th. Um, and this one is following uh, a group of passengers who are on a plane, um, and this woman on the plane basically predicts their deaths, essentially. And they're kind of laughing it off, not thinking it's super serious. And then two people actually end up dying the way that she predicted them to die. So then the rest of the passengers are kind of left to confront the idea that this woman was correct and they have to start living their lives kind of by that notion, potentially. This one is kind of intriguing. Um, obviously, Leanne Moriarty is probably most famous for writing Big Little Lies, which I did read and did give five stars. I have read some other Leanne Moriarty's and was not necessarily as impressed by them. So we'll kind of see how this one goes. Um, probably what I'm expecting is more of a, like, character focus story that's centered around relationships and family and not necessarily the story of what, how this woman is predicting these deaths and how that is going to be playing out. I'm expecting it to be a little bit more of an emotional hard hitting read, um, but still I am intrigued. Um, I don't know exactly when I'll be getting to this, um, but I'm definitely kind of curious to see how other people feel about it when it does come out. The third book on the list is one of my very most anticipated books. I've been pretty excited for this book for a majority of the year, and that is What Is This Feeling by Robbie Weaver. And this one is coming out on September 17th, and basically it is following um, two teenage uh, boys who are in a theater crew, and essentially um, it's kind of like a grumpy sunshine, it seems. One is like the out there kind of theater kid, another's like uh, he works behind the stages and seems to be a little bit more of a loner and basically they're teaming up for this like scavenger hunt that the theater group does in New York City. Uh, I read uh, this author's previous works and have enjoyed them and have found them to be pretty good so um, I'm expecting this one to be more of the same. Next book is Absolution by Jeff Vandermeer, and this is coming out on October 22nd. Now, this is actually book four in the Southern Reach, uh, I guess, series. It used to be a trilogy. Um, I did read the first book, Annihilation, in this series a while ago at this point, and I've always meant to continue. So now with this new book popping up, I'm hoping it kind of motivates me to get to books two and three and then check out this one. Um, Annihilation itself was following this weird, I guess it was like a like a fog or like a, a field of energy essentially that starts encompassing parts of, of the United States. Uh, weird things start happening. It had a movie adaptation with Natalie Portman a couple of years ago. So I think a lot of people are familiar with it. I did see the movie and then read the book after. So there are slight differences in the two, um, but I actually enjoy both. I think both are really, really good. So I would definitely recommend it. And I'm excited to kind of continue on and read this fourth book and see how I feel about it. The next book is The Bitter End by Alexa Dunn, and this is coming out on October 15th. And this is a YA mystery thriller about, I think, eight teenagers who go on this 
a ski trip and they're locked in a remote cabin, you know, by like a storm or whatever. And then there's like a killer on the loose. So you're kind of classic, very classic mystery. But um, I've talked about this before. I follow Alexa on YouTube. I really enjoy her, her videos. Um, and I did read her first YA thriller, which I'm forgetting what it was called, The Ivies. Um, I've not read Pretty Dead Queens. I do want to, just every time I get it from the library, I just don't seem to be in the mood for it. Um, but I am excited for The Bitter End um, and seeing how this one goes. Um, it's kind of a little bit more my style of what I like in mystery thrillers. Now I'm not always the biggest fan of YA thrillers because I don't know if they can fully go there all of the time. Um, and they sometimes tend to be maybe a little bit more melodramatic. But um, I am intrigued by this one and definitely want to check it out and get to it soon. Seventh book on the list is Darkly by Marisha Pessel. And this is coming out on November 26th, so a little bit later in the year. Um, and this is another YA kind of book. And it's essentially following these teens who become interns at this like game developer company that kind of has this like cult following. They've developed a lot of games. I think there is a specific game called Darkly that students or students that people play um, and our main character is selected as one of the interns to kind of come to this company and then it turns into like a big game. So I'm really intrigued, really excited by this one. Sounds like it's going to be really good. I absolutely loved Night Film by Marisha Pestle. I haven't gotten around to her other works yet, uh, but this one is really, really intriguing and sounds really good. And so, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited for this and want to try to read it as soon as possible once it comes out. I'm, I'm really, really excited for this one. I'm hoping that it's good. This one is actually a little bit of a different kind of book. It's a graphic novel and it's called We Called Them Giants by Kieran Gillen. Um, and it's illustrated by Stephanie Hans. Um, and so this one is coming out on October 8th. Um, and, or excuse me, it's November 12th is when this one is coming out. And it, essentially it's following this woman who kind of wakes up alone in this hospital and finds the world to be like in ruin or like apocalyptic. And then things seem to descend from the heavens. It's very much giving um, Sleeping Giants vibes. That's kind of what attracted me to this. And Kieran Gillen, I believe is the same author or like story designer um, behind, was it East... West? Is that who he did? I think I've read things by him before, like graphic novels, but this one sounds really, really good. I'm super, super intrigued by it and it should be super quick. It's graphic novel. It's only like 105 pages, I think is what Goodreads says. So yeah, I am definitely intrigued by this one and definitely wanting to check it out. Ninth book is another adult mystery thriller and it is The Last One at the Wedding by Jason Relklik, I think is how you pronounce the author's last name. He is the same person who wrote Hidden Pictures, which was a, I think, popular but controversial novel when it came out like a year or two ago. Um, and this one is coming out on October 8th, and it's following a father who gets an invite to his daughter Maggie's wedding after three years of not speaking or not being on the best terms. And he shows up at the wedding and she turns out to be marrying into this like kind of famous rich family. Um, but then when he's at the wedding, things seem to be off. Things seem to be just kind of going wrong. The town seems to be very hostile towards them. So he kind of starts investigating and wondering what's going on and why people are not, um, I guess, being very friendly or, or he thinks something is wrong and he kind of wants to investigate to make sure his daughter's doing, going well. And so this one kind of is intriguing me because it's it's just, a, I think, a more interesting story than what Hidden Pictures was. I know a lot of people talked about that when it came out, but I just was never into it. And then, like I said, I think there was some controversy around it of some sort of maybe being um, disrespectful to some marginalized groups of people. I don't necessarily know. So if you are more informed on the topic, feel free to let me know down below. Uh, but I am intrigued by this one, unless that the author is actually really bad and, you know, I don't have to read it. But it did sound interesting when I was looking at some upcoming books um, on Goodreads earlier this year. All right, we have two more. So book number 10 is No One Will Know by Rose Carlisle. And this one is coming in on October 1st. And it's essentially following a young girl who meets this like wealthy, powerful couple. And they basically hire her on as a nanny. And they're like, you know, hey, will you watch our kid for us? And she's like, oh yeah, absolutely. Like, this is going to be amazing. I'll get to like travel around with this rich family and basically have to watch this kid and like do nothing but then it seems to be more like dark sinister it's honestly giving very much like 90s sex thriller vibes is kind of what I'm getting from this I don't know if I'm totally off on that but that's just like what the synopsis was kind of giving like 
it's very much centered in present day from what I can tell, but I could so see this being like a 90s sex thriller, like a, like a basic instinct or um, what was that other one that was like pretty famous? I don't know, but basic in- instinct is like the number one that like pops into my mind, but the stories are not similar at all, like whatsoever, but that's just kind of how I'm getting or what I'm getting from this. So I am intrigued. Definitely want to check it out, see how it goes. Um, kind of has the potential to be either really good or really bad. I don't think it'll be a three star, which is good. It'll either be maybe a one or two or like a four or a five. So I guess we will see when it comes out. The last book on this list is The Lake of Lost Girls by Katherine Green. And this one is set to be published on November 5th. And it's told in dual timelines, one of my favorite ways to tell stories. I think one is set in 1998, the other is set in present day. And from what I can gather from the synopsis, it seems to be that there was like a ser- serial killer or some sort of person kidnapping these girls who had gone disappeared or who had disappeared, not gone, disappeared. And then their bodies, I think, ended up in a lake. And now I think in present day, we're following the younger sister or like a family member of some sort of one of those potential victims who may or may not have been found. I couldn't exactly tell by the synopsis. Maybe I just didn't read it closely enough. Um, But you know, I'm a sucker for dual timelines, especially kind of like 20 to 30 years apart. Love the late 90s setting. Um, I think that will be really good. And yeah, it's it's giving like an Unsolved Mysteries kind of episode. So I think this is going to be really good. I'm actually really, really intrigued by this and just have a lot of hopes. I also really like the cover of this one as well. Um, I just, I think it's, it's good. So yeah, I'm excited by this one um, coming out, like I said, November 5th. So a little bit later in the year, but definitely want to prioritize this one um, to kind of read as soon as possible as well. All right, and those are all of the books that I want to talk about in this video. It's just 11 that I'm kind of intrigued by, going to keep an eye out on um, and see how people feel about them once they come out in these next couple of months, and then hopefully get my hands on them and read them as well. So if you are interested in any of these books, be sure to let me know down below and let me know any of the books not mentioned on this list that you are anticipating for the second half of this year um, and what you are eagerly awaiting to read. So I'll be intrigued and excited to read those comments. But for now, that is all for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.